Welcome to this session. As we saw previously, competence-based learning is developing in schools across Europe. But interconnected approaches, whereby teacher training, student assessment, learning resources and school organisation are all reformed accordingly, are currently rather rare. The need for a holistic and interrelated approach for the effective implementation of competence-based education is clear. It is for this reason that KeyConet, the European Policy Network on Key Competences in School Education, was established to learn from countries which are using a systemic approach to implement key competences in school education. One such country is Ireland, which we will use as a case study example throughout this course. Ireland's secondary school curriculum is currently undergoing a key skills reform. To tell us more, we have with us today Aoife Kelly from the National Council for Curriculum and Assessment in Ireland. Thanks, Caroline. Indeed, as you just mentioned, all levels of school education in Ireland are at various stages of curriculum reform and the development and embedding of dispositions and competences are viewed as central to these reforms. In Ireland, we refer to key competences as key skills and frameworks for key skills have been developed for lower and upper secondary education. That is to say, for students aged between 12 and 18. The key skills are based on the competences set out in the European framework for key competences for lifelong learning, but are adapted to suit the Irish context. The approach is an integrated approach with the competences embedded into the learning outcomes of the formal curriculum and assessment. Emphasis is placed on their role in the teaching and learning approaches employed in the classrooms. While curriculum and assessment reforms are led from the centre, schools are encouraged to develop competences in ways that work best for them. The National Council for Curriculum and Assessment has worked closely with schools and teachers in the development of key skills frameworks. Currently, the curriculum and its assessment for lower secondary education, or what we call in Ireland junior cycle, which includes students aged between 12 and 15, is being reformed. And as part of that reform, literacy, numeracy and the six key skills have been identified as being central to teaching and learning. You can see here the six key skills of the junior cycle, and it is clear that the focus is on learning to learn, working with others, being reflective, creative and innovative. At senior cycle, which includes students aged between 16 and 18, a framework sets out how key skills can be embedded in teaching and learning and the learning outcomes associated with each skill. You can see here the five key skills of senior cycle education in Ireland. Work has been underway on the embedding of these key skills in the curriculum for senior cycle over the last number of years. And the first subject to have its syllabus completely revised has been mathematics. In modules two and three of this course, we'll be focusing on the initiative called Project Maths, which set out to reform the way maths was taught, learned and assessed in all post-primary schools in Ireland. One of the main aims of the initiative was to improve skills such as reasoning, sense-making and problem-solving. The key skills of the junior and senior cycle were embedded in the new syllabuses. We wanted our students to be able to think creatively, to use maths to think critically, to develop a set of transferable skills, which meant that they could apply their knowledge beyond the classroom and to unfamiliar situations. We wanted them to learn collaboratively, to analyse each other's strategies, problem solving groups and use technology to support their learning. In this way, they would be more equipped with skills for living in the world and for further study in the area of maths. Internationally, the move has been towards an emphasis on problem solving, modelling and maths in real life contexts. And this approach was largely absent in the previous maths curriculum in Ireland. Watch the following short video for an overview of the Project Maths initiative. In the past, the world changed quite slowly. People often worked in the same job for many years. Our education was relatively static and predictable. These days, the world is changing around us at a much faster pace. Technology is constantly evolving. We face a transformed workplace. Almost every profession has new requirements. However, Ireland's maths education system was not advancing at the same pace as the rest of the world. We have experienced high failure rates in state exams and our students had relatively poor maths performance internationally. This revealed a need to take a new approach to prepare students for the future. 
an innovative, forward-thinking project was created to address these issues. It's known as Project Maths. Project Maths is not a subject. It's a fresh approach to maths that's designed to equip students with skills that will be useful later in life. It's an initiative that's changing the syllabus, assessment and teaching of maths, so students understand it in a way that's relevant in our constantly changing world. It's designed for students to achieve long-term rewards, demonstrated in improved understanding, thinking skills and exam results. In the past, students sometimes learned how to solve specific exam problems in a fixed way. This meant that they could get acceptable results. But sometimes, once the exams were over and the student was faced with a different logical challenge in real life, they didn't know how to solve it. Over time, students often forgot the procedure to solve the problem. Most adults currently don't recall their school math skills when faced with a maths-related challenge in everyday life. Project Maths encourages learning in a new way. It helps students adapt and develop the capacity to solve different types of problems based on an insightful understanding of maths. The way that maths works at school has changed. It's understandable that some students and parents might have a negative reaction to the initiative because change is not always comfortable. Instead of exam questions always being predictable, students might now face unfamiliar questions. Importantly, students are now equipped with strategies for problem-solving these types of questions, as well as the essential maths knowledge needed to calculate the solution. Students are guided to develop the resourcefulness to think for themselves and to solve complex problems in innovative ways. Sometimes there are multiple solutions in a given scenario. Students are encouraged to develop their thinking so that they can choose the most effective solution. Over time, students are allowed to build up the concepts of maths in a manner that is personally relevant to them, while still having expert guidance along the way. This style of learning is much more powerful than simply memorising by repetition, as it enables students to internalise the underlying concepts that drive the maths. Instead of receiving information in a passive way, students are now actively engaged in the learning process. Through discussion and investigation, students construct important mathematical concepts and take ownership of them. The new approach is also good for teachers, as it ensures that the relationship between the teacher and students is dynamic, allowing the teacher to adjust the pace of learning sensitively. In the short time since Project Maths began, there have already been some very positive results, as many students are becoming more engaged in their learning. The Project Maths approach is the ideal preparation for university or college. Students are equipped with essential mathematical and problem-solving skills that allow them to excel at a higher level. Students are given opportunities to work collaboratively, preparing them for real-world situations. They are encouraged to be imaginative and creative, things that in the past were not usually associated with the idea of maths education. This is the kind of innovative thinking that will make a difference in our changing times. Project Maths empowers students in developing valuable skills for higher education and the workplace. It's important to equip our students with skills for today's world, but it's even more important to ensure that they can succeed in tomorrow's world. You heard in the video about the pervasive nature of the final exam and the negative effect it was having on learning. In Ireland, maths is currently formally assessed mainly by way of a final externally set and marked exam at the end of junior cycle, followed by another exam at the end of senior cycle. For that reason, along with high failure rates and research which was showing that maths classrooms around Ireland were often teacher-centred, it was clear that reform was badly needed. Luckily, there was recognition by a number of key stakeholders that something had to be done about mathematics standards and students' attitudes to maths. The collaboration of these stakeholders resulted in the creation of the Project Maths Initiative, which would change the syllabus, align the assessment with the learning outcomes and include a big investment in teacher professional development. In Module 2, Sandra Fay, a mathematics teacher in Ireland, will talk to you about the challenges at the classroom level of introducing this changed approach to teaching maths. She'll also identify some strategies that were successful in bringing about the aims of the syllabus and developing 21st century skills. The change in the assessment of mathematics was one of the biggest challenges we encountered during the implementation of the initiative. 
In module three, dedicated to assessment, I'll share our experience in Ireland of the challenges we faced and some of the strategies which were effective in assessing key competences in mathematics. I look forward to talking to you again then.